Hello everyone and welcome back to Finet, your favorite financial education channel. Today we have an exciting video for you but before we begin make sure to hit that subscribe button below to stay updated with more valuable financial education content and if you find this video helpful don't forget to like and share it with your friends. Now let's dive into today's topic. In today's video we're going to take a closer look at Capitech. South Africa's fastest growing digital bank. We'll explore how it started, its remarkable growth, and why it has become a favorite among investors. So let's get started. Capitec was established in March 2001 by its founders Yanni Newton, Michael LaRue, and Rian Stassen with a vision to simplify banking and make it more affordable and accessible for everyone. After listing on the JSC in February 2002, Capitec quickly gained traction. From its humble beginnings with 25,000 clients and 55 branches in 2001, Capitec experienced rapid growth. By 2005, it expanded to 250 branches and in 2008, it reached a significant milestone with 2 million clients and the introduction of internet banking. The momentum continued and by 2014, Capitec had over 600 branches nationwide, serving 6 million clients. In 2016, they further expanded to 794 branches and surpassed 8 million clients. Impressively, in 2020, Capitec nearly doubled its client base to 15 million, with 8 million of them being digital clients. Today, Capitec stands as a powerhouse in the South African banking sector, employing over 14,000 people and operating more than 800 branches. It boasts a market capitalization of over 190 billion rand, demonstrating its significant presence in the financial market. Capitec's success has not gone unnoticed. The bank has received numerous awards and accolades for its outstanding performance. In 2019 and 2020, Capitec was named the Sunday Times Top 100 Company of the Year. It also received the prestigious title of the best bank in South Africa in the Forbes World's Best Bank Survey for two consecutive years. Furthermore, it won first prize in the Sunday Times Next Gen's Coolest Bank Award. Capitec's success with its clients and its strong brand have translated into its balance sheet, making it a favorite for many investors. Now, let's take a closer look at the stock price analysis and understand why portfolio managers include Capitec in their portfolios. To begin our analysis, let's examine the historical stock price performance of Capitec over the period July 4, 2023 to July 17, 2023. During this period, Capitec's stock price showed significant volatility. It opened at 1,560 Rand on July 4 and closed at 1,670 on July 17, representing an increase of approximately 7.3%. Now let's dive into the factors contributing to this volatility, including both economic and industry-specific factors. Economic factors play a crucial role in the performance of companies listed on the JSC, and Capitec is no exception. The South African economy has experienced a period of uncertainty due to factors such as inflationary pressures, political uncertainty, and the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. These elements have led to increased market volatility, affecting the share price of companies like Capitec Bank. Additionally, the banking industry has faced its own set of challenges, increased competition, regulatory changes, and the impact of digital transformation have all put pressure on banks, including Capitec. The rise of digital banks in South Africa has intensified competition, while regulatory requirements have increased operational costs, impacting profitability and consequently share prices. Let's take a closer look at Capitec's financial performance. In the February 2023 financial period, 
Capitec generated 23.97 billion rand in revenue, with 18.93 billion coming from retail banking, 1.7 billion from business banking, and 3.3 billion from insurance. Two key financial ratios can provide insight into Capitec's performance. First, the earnings per share, EPS, which indicates the company's profitability per outstanding share. Capitec Bank's trailing 12 months EPS is 83 Rand and 87 cents, and the forward EPS is projected to be 110 Rand and 59 cents, suggesting the company's earnings are expected to improve, potentially impacting its share price positively. Another important ratio is the price to book or PB ratio, which compares the company's share to its book value per share. Capitec's PB is at 5x, significantly higher than the industry average. This indicates that the stock may be overvalued, which could contribute to the volatility in the bank's share price. In conclusion, the volatility in Capitec's share price can be attributed to a combination of economic uncertainty, industry challenges, and company-specific factors. While the bank's forward EPS suggests potential for growth, its high PB ratio indicates possible overvaluation, which may impact share price stability. As an investor, it's crucial to consider these factors carefully when making investment decisions. So, what do you guys think of Capitec? Do you believe it's a valuable addition to your portfolio? Is there anything we missed that you would have liked us to cover? If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to share them below. Thank you so much for watching this video on Capitec, South Africa's fastest growing digital bank. We hope you found this information insightful. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might benefit from it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more valuable financial education content. Stay tuned for our next video. Until then, take care and happy investing.